Thank you to the Railway Industry Association for inviting me to speak today. I'm only sorry I can't be with you in person. This is a great opportunity to talk up your work and talk about what I'm sure will be an engaging and impactful couple of days. Our supply chain has helped the UK Railway achieve great things, doubling passenger numbers since privatisation and investing nearly £7 billion in rolling stock over the last decade. That has not come without challenge. Faced with tricky economic headwinds, a certain degree of political upheaval and of course the pandemic, you've kept rail moving and our economy growing. And the challenges we face today include decarbonisation and bringing back passengers. I'm sure I don't need to convince anyone in this room that research, development and innovation are vital to meeting those challenges. And that can only happen if we embed new solutions across our operations and realise their benefits. I know that's the theme of this year's conference. Through first-of-a-kind competitions, my department has been supporting the adoption of new technologies since 2017. These support the demonstration of mature technologies on the railway and encourage take-up of promising products. We've made available nearly £54 million and supported over 150 projects so far, with a substantial number now in service across the country. And some of these, such as co catalysts water track system, were supported at earlier stages by the Industry Research and Development Programme delivered by the RSSB. With its long record of creativity and innovation, your industry is critical in progressing new technologies and speeding up their adoption. Network Rail's Accelerated Innovation Programme has focused on turning new ideas into workable solutions and getting them rolled out. As the Secretary of State set out last month, rail reform will bring an enhanced role for the private sector, maximising competition and, crucially, innovation. A commercially driven Great British Railways will be the guiding mind for the railways, collaborating with industry and offering the freedom and incentives for it to drive improvements. This includes new passenger service contracts, which will make it easier for operators to innovate on their services, allowing them to lead on new ideas in conjunction with Great British Railways and benefit from successes. Innovation in data offers a particularly exciting opportunity. RIA's challenge paper is being launched at this conference and I welcome industry's engagement across this area. The Rail Data Marketplace seeks to be a one-stop shop for industry data and we are working with stakeholders to get this right first time. It will provide significant benefits for the whole system. Just think how sharing data on ETCS installation could inform better and more efficient rollout of the system in subsequent years. That's the sort of progress we want to achieve in partnership with you. Since I've been in post, I've placed a huge emphasis on working with industry, whether that's working to resolve industrial action or our plan for modernising and reforming our railways, we want our relationship to be one of constructive partners. And I will continue to engage with members over the coming months, ensuring that where possible, I can provide the certainty you need. So let me thank you for all of your continued hard work and let's celebrate what has been achieved over the last year as rail recovers. And let's also look forward to rail's year of renewal.